till this stage we know how the transformation law of covariant can be written as that which is a bar i is equals to a alpha curl x alpha over curl x bar i and the transformation law of contravariant is a bar i a alpha curl x bar i curl x alpha and the mixed tensor is like this which is a mixture of both covariant and contravariant components let's do some examples to understand these tr uh, transformation in a depth uh, first one is aj how can you write this in a as a, from the first glance it can be seen that this is a, a covariant component and how can you transform the law of transformation say that aj bar is equals to aj bar equals to say a1 curl x1 over curl x bar j this is simply this transformation of aj now the second one try it yourself which is b bar i j k maybe this little bit uh, difficult for you the transformation for b i j k so b bar i j k which is a transformation of this b i j k will be written as as you can see this is a mixed tensor so first we have one covariant uh, one contravariant component and two covariant components then we will write b for i curl x i over curl x bar i over curl x 1 and for the covariant component curl x 2 over curl x j and uh, third one is again the covariant component curl x3 over curl x k bar and then this whole can be written as 1 2 3 okay last one of this transformation cklm cklm as this is purely a covariant uh, component so write the law of uh, write the transformation of this covariant cklm first this one curl x 1 over curl x k bar curl x 2 over curl x bar l curl x 3 over curl x bar m this whole can be written as c123 okay say uh, my next question is this my next question is this uh, say a transformation from lmrs to jkq pq uh, you have to tell me is this is a tensor or not take a time pause the video and uh, give it a chance okay now is this vector uh, this quantity a uh, tensor or not see this is clearly we can say that this is a tensor first this is a covariant and then again this is a contravariant again contravariant and again contravariant so uh, one covariant component and two three uh, contravariant component and the notation of this uh, can be written as kpq like this the notation of this notation and this is a mixed tensor so my next question is that uh, you have to show that velocity of fluid is contravariant tensor of rank 1 we all know that uh, components of velocity say in coordinate uh, uh, components of velocity in coordinate x dash x i is d x i over d t and in the x bar i state components of velocities are d x bar i over d t now d x bar i over d t by the chain rule we can say that curl x bar i over curl x j curl x j over d t and this is again 
our contravariant contravariant tensor which is equals to a j j sorry which is equals to a j now this becomes a j curl x j over curl t which is a i equals to x v j this is v bar i j so from here we can say that velocity is a contravariant tensor of rank 1 show that a over curl x j is not a tensor show that is not a tensor first we know that how to write a i it is simply that it is a covariant so a bar i the transformation is written as curl x 1 over curl x i bar and uh, the covariant component is a1 okay now differentiating this with respect to x bar j j is equals to curl a1 over curl x bar j curl x1 over curl x bar i plus a1 curl x1 over curl x bar j curl x bar i see that why this quantity is not a tensor because this quantity which is double differential uh, in the right hand side is not transforms like a tensor so this whole quantity not transforms like tensor so this whole quantity is not tensor not a tensor quantity next <clears throat> next question is that aij b i c j is invariant show a i j b i c j is invariant as we know that this is a covariant contra and then again contra a i j can be written as curl x1 over curl x bar i curl x2 over curl x bar j b1 curl x uh, i over curl curl x bar j over curl x 4 and the whole components of this is written as 1 2 b 3 c 4 ok now uh, they can be written as del 1 3 and uh, they can be written as these two as del 2 4 we will discuss this uh, canonical delta function which is simply del 1 3 is equals to curl x 1 over curl x 3 and del 2 4 is equals to curl x 2 over curl x 4 now this is here and uh, 
1, 2, B3, C4. Pairing these del 1, 3, B3, del 2, 4, C4. When uh, 1 is equals to 3, uh, say here, then we will end up with this 1, 2, B. C4 when 2 is equal to 4 which is equals to as this was ij cj so this is equals to aij bar b i bar c bar j is equals to a12 b3 c4 so which shows that this uh, quantity is invariant in nature.